Hey everybody, welcome back to, to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna remove the anti-roll bar, I'm gonna remove the lower wishbones, and I'm gonna replace all the bushes in the, the Powerflex bushes. So, without further ado, it's getting a little bit late in the evening and I'm losing the light, I'm gonna get started. So, what I'm gonna to need to do is remove this bolt, I'm gonna to need to remove this bolt, and then the back bolt in here to get the wishbone out, and as well as that, I'm gonna to have to remove these, this bracket here, and this bracket here on both sides, same over there, to get the anti roll bar down out of the way. So, when that's out of the way, I should be able to get the wishbone out and then remove the bushing here, bushing in there. Uh, we'll see what condition this is in before we make a, de a decision on that. I can't see if it's ripped or not, it's just a crease in it. We'll have a look when it's all off. Um, if that's goosed, we might have to replace the whole wishbone, but we'll get it off and we'll have a look. So, uh, I'm gonna get that done. I'm not gonna video it because it's only a couple of bolts. I mean, you just remove that, remove that, remove that, separate this, and it'll all drop out. Well, that's the plan anyway. So, it's a little bit late in the evening here in Dublin, so I'm gonna get started before I lose too much light. And I'll get back to you guys when I have it all out and sitting on the bench. All right, it's the next day. As you can see, I've got the wishbones removed, and I've already got the, the bushes out of them, both of them. Very simple to do, so I have a bush removal kit which you basically you put a cup on and it's got a washer on the other side you try to bar through tighten it up and as it tightens it pushes it out into the cup very easy to use very simple a little bit finicky here because when you try to bar through you haven't got a lot of space here to actually get your the rod and the bolt on but other than that you walk around that and you get it going so they came out these are in fairly good condition so obviously somebody's looked after the car there's not too much play in them there is a mark on one of the wishbones i'm not sure which one and there's a corresponding mark on the anti-roll bar the anti-roll bar bush are in far worse condition than this so I think that's where a lot of the play was coming from and it's definitely where that clunking noise was coming from Um the what a bush here sorry the ball joint here these are in fairly good condition they're still a fair bit tight and there's no rip in the rubber so we're going to leave them and we're going to use this what I am going to do you can probably see from the picture I've started to wire brush these this one down I gave it a quick two minute job I'm going to finish that off I'm going to cover it in the underbody seal and then we're going to put our power flex bushes in as you can see this one's not touched this is what they look like is that the five minutes but anyway so the smaller one here is the front bush which is this one here and the larger one here is the rear bush which is this one here so i'm going to go and have a coffee then i can go and come back and we're going to wire brush this so it's the next morning wire brushing is done I've got a couple of coats of undercoat on the uh, on the wishbones, and as you can see, I've also fitted the Paraflex bushes on this one. And I'm going to move on to the other wishbone. I'm going to show you how to fit this. It's fairly straightforward. So let's get going on that. Right. So here is my workstation, and this is the rear bush. So this pack came with two in it, and this is the bush to go here. And then you have your sleeve that goes through there when you have it done. So you get a tube of this in each pack. It is PTFE silicone bush assembly grease. I've used all of that on the other two of the other wishbone. Luckily, each pack comes with it. This is the front one. This one comes in two halves. It sits like that, the tube goes through the middle of it. And um, that one's fairly easy to do. This one's a little bit tricky. One, because it's a much bigger bush, you need to force it through. And two, because I don't have a voice big enough to put this whole thing in. If you have a voice big enough, you can literally just squash it from each side, give it plenty of loop, and then crush it in from each side. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this bar up through the bottom, thread it through, put another bolt on top with another plate, and then basically just crush it in. That's how I got the other one in, there's no damage to it at all. Um, I'll give you a look at it when I have it all all um, put together and you just wind it in. Um, this one you just put in by hand, it's very, very easy. We're going to use some PTFE tape as well. Um, on this bush, the PTFE tape is just going to go around the outside cylinder, just to stop a bit of squeaking. Uh, but on the smaller bush, I'm going to put it on the outside of the bush in itself with a bit of grease and the outside of the steel cylinder, put it all in. It just helps it stop the squeak. I've never had an issue uh, with them squeaking, but I've read a bit online lately that a lot of people have had issues with uh, poly bushes squeaking. It's just, just not something we want. So it's a preventative measure, and I'll show you how to do that. It's fairly simple. So I'm going to get this set up, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. 
Okay, so this is the assembly grease. I'm gonna, gonna wanna get a bit in your finger and apply it all inside the rim here. And then apply it to whatever side of the bushing is getting pressed in. You need to do both sides, just one side. Get it out there. Get it all here and line that up there. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do, I'll move this in the middle of the shot so you guys can see. We have a steel plate here that I'm just going to use to try to bolt through and pull this through. If I had a joist, I'd use that, but I don't. So, I'll put a nut on here. I'll hold a steel plate on. That's that. Another steel plate. Now what you're going to want to keep an eye on is just make sure the bush stays fairly centred, you don't want to get pinched down to one side, you might damage it. Just keep it centred like that and then just wind them all in and as it gets tighter and tighter it'll just push that all the way in and push it closed. So I'll give you a shout when that's all the way in, it's as simple as that. And there you have it, bush fitted. So as you get down and you push this in, you're obviously with this plate hard up against here, you're not going to have enough room. So when you get it all the way in, just lightly loosen this side as you push down on this side and the bush will just pop itself through, as you can see there. So now I'm just going to remove this, remove this and then I'm going to put on the cylinder. So I'll show you how it works now. Yeah, here we have a cylinder. You can't mix these two up, one big, one small. We're going to get a small bit of assembly paste just on the outside of it, not too much. It's a small bit. Blech. We have a plumber's tape, PTFE tape. What I want to do is start it off just a half an edge over the end and just wrap it. You don't want to be too thick with this, just make sure it's covered. Keep the tension on all the way down. We have a ham fist that's right. This won't look as neat as it could be, but this is where we are. And have to be massively neat, just overlap it all the way down the barrel. Just so it covers the edge there and break it off. There you go. That's it. Get that out of the way and off my finger. And another little bit of assembly paste on the edge. Okay. Now, when you're putting it in here, you're going to want to remember which way you turn it. You don't want to turn it this way because that'll unravel it. So turn it as if you're turning a screw in. Just get the edge in and then give it a twist as you apply pressure and down it'll go. Again, if you have a voice, you can put it in the voice and just twist the bar as it goes down. There you go. All the way in. Now, this edge is sticking out just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, a friend of mine does have a voice and I'm going to put the extra last little nip in there in the voice just to get it home. I did that with the other one. But as you can see, the PTFE tape hasn't come off and the bush is still completely seated. So to be no squeaks out of this bush, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're back. As you can see, that one's totally seated. And we're moving on to the next bush. So it's coming in two halves. You can see this one is a tapered end, this is a flat end. The flat end goes with the curve because it's tighter on space. Let's see how it goes in there. So what you're going to want to do is a very minimal bit of paste on there. 
and then we're going to go ahead with our tape again. I'm going to make sure you have a clean edge of tape. So let's get that little nip there. Get rid of that. And again, just like the last one, just half over the edge, and then wind it on. You only need a little bit of this because it's only a short bush. You don't need to go round and round. Just once around, overlap it, make sure it's covered. Here we go. edge, another little bit of paste, Ooh, make sure that doesn't come off, and a little bit of paste on the, so a little bit of paste on the outside of here, and a little bit of paste on the inside of the wishbone itself, where you're going to see it, and again make sure you twist this as you're twisting the screw in, because you don't want to lose the tape as you put it in. Give it a little twist. There we go. And then that one's home. I'm going to do the very same with this one. A little bit of assembly paste on the outside. BTFE tape. Put on a clean edge for that. Get off. And the edge. As I said, I'm a bit hand fisted. You guys might be a bit neater putting that on. But a little bit of paste. A little bit of paste in here as well. And then I'm just going to put it in the edge in and just give it a little turn as you put it in. There we go. A bit of PTFE tape sticking out there. I'll chop that off with a Stanley in a minute. But here you go, bushes up here. You see it. Last bit is this again. There's enough assembly grease in my fingers. You just want the assembly grease on that just so that the tape will actually adhere to it nice and cleanly. Get that off. Get off. On the edge. Joe, you're making a dog's dinner with this. Oh, there we go. assembly grease and in it goes remember to twist it with the PTFE tape there you go. get in now this one's been a little bit stubborn so I think I'll bring it into again my friend's voice and I'll ram it home. If not, you can try and get it with, I don't know, a swan neck pliers or something like that if you have it and squash it down. But I'm just gonna run in next door to Dave and I'm just gonna put it in his voice and push it all the way home. And as if by magic, they are done. We've got all the bushes done. We've got all the collars fitted. We've got a PTFE tape on each steel car, on each steel cylinder just to stop the uh, stop them squeaking. We've given the original wishbones a Good L sand it or wire brush down and a new lease of life on those with some under seal. The ball joints on each one are in good condition, so they'll be going on, on the car in the next video. As well as that, in the next video, we're going to be putting on the new anti roll bar bushes. There's four of them, there's one on each end and two in the middle. And um, we're also going to be putting on our OMP lower brace that'll help stiffen up the handle, so the handle will be nice and sharp, as well as our. Uh, power flex bits that will all help that and um, there's also a couple of little scabby bits under the car that I'll be able to access while these are off that I'm going to wear brush down and clean up and I might do a little bit of degreasing um, before I put these back on I'll have a look now in the next day or two and get them done but for now that's that 
if you like what you see please like and subscribe to help support the channel and see you guys in the next video cheers